Hey folks, Damien again here with Best Care. What I'm doing on this video is showing you how to troubleshoot your lift. So let's just pretend you got this lift, you watched my videos, you know how to hook it all up, but things still aren't working right. And we're trying to figure out what's wrong with the lift. Let me give you six or seven steps here you can use so you can isolate the problem and we can get your lift working properly. So let's just go through step number one. Step number one, this is our charging cable that we're going to plug into the wall to charge up the lift. If we've got it plugged into the wall and this green light's blinking down here on the control box and the battery is actually displaying on the control box as being charging, the lift is not going to work. The lift only works when you unplug it from the wall. So that would be the first step. Make sure you got it unplugged from the wall or the lift won't operate. So let's say we've done that and the lift still isn't working. Well, the second step that I would check is when you assemble the lift, a very common thing would be that the person didn't plug the actuator cable correctly into the control box. It's kind of tough sometimes to get it pushed all the way in there. So check to make sure that it's plugged in all the way. Maybe unplug it for one time here. See it's pretty snug. And then give it another push to make sure that it's in all the way. It's a little hard, but make sure it's in there. You shouldn't see any space between that bottom rib of the phono plug and the control box. It needs to be plugged in all the way. So let's say we got that checked in and it looks okay. And we know we got it unplugged and the lift still isn't working. Then the, the third thing that I would check would be that the battery has power. The way we do that is by simply pushing the symbol of the battery on the battery itself. It'll light up some lights. If the battery is lighting up lights, then we know it's got some power. So we know we got power to the battery. So what are we going to do next? What are we going to check next? Well, then the, the, the next thing I would check would be the red stop button on the back of the lift. If that button is pushed in, the lift isn't going to work at all. So make sure that you have that button out. Just give it a little turn, make sure it pops out. If you got your red button out, then the lift should function. So let's go on to another step here. So we got a red button out, we know the rest of the stuff's plugged in. So let's see, what, what could be next? Well, I've seen this happen too, where the battery itself isn't seated properly in the control box. So you can see the battery removes. We got a couple of metal pieces on the bottom of it, and metal clips on the control box. Sometimes a person can put the battery in there, and they can get it in in a way that it's not really in all the way. I've seen that happen, where it's just sitting on the lift, and it's not making contact with the control box, so you're not getting power to the lift. So you got to make sure that when you get that battery over the spot where it's supposed to mount, push it down on the top a little bit so you hear a click. When you hear that click, your battery's engaged all the way and you know you got it connected to your control box properly. There's times where you get a hand control that makes the lift go up and down. Right out of the box, it's broken. So how can we determine if that's good or bad? Well, let's say you push it and nothing's happening. You can go down to the buttons that are on the control box. You hit the up and the down button there. If that's making the lift go up and down and the hand control's not, then we know we got a bad hand control. So we need to replace that for you to get that lift functioning properly. So, as you can see here, getting the lift together is the first step, but if you get it to the point where it's not working, hopefully this troubleshooting, uh, these troubleshooting steps will help you to isolate the problem. Thanks for watching.